Television is just about as fickle an industry as you could possibly find. As the landscape is littered with TV shows all scrambling to make a good impression on any potential viewer that might stumble upon them. Ratings are as important to the TV world as box office receipts are to the film industry, because it's your viewership that ultimately guarantees their success. Over the years, we've seen some titans of television make an unforgettable impact on those watching at home, garnering viewers in their droves as they do their thing. And sometimes these viewers even rise as the respective show carries on. Then you have the other side of the coin. You know, the one where a show is so darn popular that it ends up making a few missteps along the way and actually loses a large chunk of those viewers. Yeah. With that in mind, I'm Gareth from WhatCulture.com and here are 9 TV shows that lost millions of viewers and why. Number 9. Supergirl We may talk about how Arrow started this wave of modern-day superhero TV, while The Flash took it to a whole new level. But no single episode of the Arrowverse has been more watched than the pilot of Supergirl, which brought in a staggering 13 million viewers. Though those viewers decreased over the course of the first season, it did bring in an impressive average of 9.8 million throughout its run. Nowadays, however, the show is in its fifth season and it's barely watched by 1 million a week. Supergirl's dramatic decline can easily be explained away, however, by the show's move from CBS to sister network The CW following the conclusion of its first season. While that did allow it to continue on, officially bringing the Girl of Steel to the home of the Arrowverse, it also robbed the show of a massive chunk of its viewership, as The CW brings in considerably less viewers than any of the other big five networks. Of course, as with every show, the typical fatigue viewer decline has set in over time, but the 3 million drop between seasons 2 and 5 is actually pretty standard for The CW. Number 8. Grey's Anatomy Grey's Anatomy is one of the longest-running shows on television today, and for good reason. Kicking off its historic run back in 2005 with 16 million viewers, those figures would actually increase as the show went on, with it bringing in between 20 to 25 million on a weekly basis during its second and third seasons. And though its audience would eventually whittle down, it held on to the vast majority of them for a very long time. Make no mistake about it, Grey's Anatomy may have lost millions of viewers over the years, but that doesn't highlight any kind of weakness. No, instead, it's just an example of how long it's managed to defy age. The truth is that the show started its run as a TV juggernaut, and it's still one today. Sure, its ratings may pale in comparison to what they once were, but the world has changed, and first airing figures aren't quite as important as they once were. In its 16th season, it's still one of ABC's most watched shows pulling in an average of 6.5 million viewers, and it's still one of the highest scoring in the coveted 18 to 49 demographic. Number 7. Fear the Walking Dead Fear the Walking Dead had the benefits of premiering during the height of The Walking Dead's popularity, earning the viewership of its parent show right from the beginning, as its premiere episode pulled in 10 million viewers. But here's the thing with Fear, it's not its parent show, and as fans realized that, viewers began to drop with each episode. In spite of that, the show still found its own audience of between 4 to 5 million viewers on a weekly basis, which is still really good for a cable network like AMC. However, Scott Gimple's reign of bland terror that tanked The Walking Dead was transferred to Fear, as he became the executive producer of the spin-off. He and new showrunners Andrew Chambliss and Ian Goldberg killed off all the good characters, maintained the bland ones, and even brought The Walking Dead's personality vacuum Morgan in to headline the show. And that is what ultimately killed anyone's interest in the show, as it now struggles to bring in 1.5 million weekly viewers. Number 6. Terminator The Sarah Connor Chronicles Back when the Terminator trilogy was a thing, The Sarah Connor Chronicles became the first T2 sequel to disregard the third entry in the franchise, before that was the cool thing to do, and it brought the iconic film series to the small screen, where it was met by the 18 million people that watched its pilot episode. By the time the show was cancelled, however, following the conclusion of its second season, there were only 3 million people watching it. Though it lost almost half its 
its viewership between the first and second episodes, the remainder of the first season still found an impressive groove somewhere between 8 and 10 million. It was the space between it and the second season that ultimately undercut its success though, because for some reason fans of the show just never returned for season 2. Unfortunately, the series just couldn't maintain all those eyeballs. And given that it's actually one of the more consistent post-T2 stories, that is a damn shame. Number 5. Once Upon a Time A magical reimagining of some of the most iconic fairy tales ever told, Once Upon a Time's uniqueness as a show reflected in its strong ratings, as it pulled in an average of 11 million viewers throughout its first two seasons. And in spite of the fact that it would suffer a number of declines over the years, it always managed to recapture folks' attention with its unique spin on some beloved stories. Sadly, the sheen would eventually wear off sometime around the fifth season, when the ratings never recovered from the typical mid-season lull, as the show began hitting series lows of 3 to 4 million on a weekly basis. Has it usually managed to overcome the aforementioned lull? Season 5's decline could have had something to do with fatigue, as fans grew weary of repetitive storylines as well as the fact that their favourite characters were consistently robbed of their happy endings. In the end though, the seventh and final season's dramatic decline was simply down to the fact that the showrunners attempted to reboot the series following the narrative's conclusion, something that ultimately got it cancelled. Number 4. Gotham It shouldn't come as a surprise to learn that a show centered on the origins of Batman drew huge numbers for Fox back in 2014, as the pilot episode of Gotham drew an impressive 8.21 million viewers. What should come as a surprise is just how quickly those figures began to drop throughout the remainder of the season, and yes, the rest of the show's five-year run, with the final episode only drawing 2.19 million viewers. This one's, well, quite simple really. The beginning of Gotham marked a new era for Batman on television, and as a result it drew a number of intrigued fans who wanted to see just how they'd pull it off. However, it became clear rather early on that Gotham was destined to do its own thing, and that didn't sit right with everyone. Despite this, the show did find its own niche. It's market, if you will, and the off-the-wall Batman prequel appealed to them quite well, as its ratings held rather steady in its last three seasons. Number 3. Prison Break Prison Break's exceptional first season was so darn gripping that it premiered and concluded to 10 million viewers with the 20 episodes in between maintaining those high viewing figures. As with most shows, a ratings decline was inevitable, but the real drop didn't begin until the third season, before it plummeted in the fourth. The interesting thing about Prison Break is that, while the quality began to dip in its second season, most viewers stuck by it until halfway through the third. However, it did find a relatively mediocre groove with 4 million eyeballs watching each week. Then, a schedule change in Season 4 placed it in the infamous Friday Night Death slot, dooming it to its ultimate cancellation. In spite of its presence as one of the all-time greats, a reputation it only received based on that first season, its revival premiered eight years later to only slightly improved figures. Number 2. Glee Glee took the world by storm in 2009, becoming a pop culture phenomenon the likes of which had never quite been seen on television before. Starting its very own movement, the pilot's early premiere picked up almost 10 million viewers, and after maintaining most of its audience throughout the fall, the mid-season break saw those figures increase to weekly doses of 13 million, figures it maintained well into its second season. When the hype had settled slightly, the show found a solid audience somewhere between 6 to 9 million for its third season. But in its fourth and fifth seasons, the cracks began to show, with the latter only pulling in an average of 1 million viewers in the back half. Its final season, however, managed to improve a little bit, bringing in an average of 2 to 3 million a week. Following the graduation of the original cast at the end of the third season, the quality of the show declined dramatically, as the creators were unable to figure out what they ultimately wanted it to be. While the New York graduates had the more intriguing stories, they were almost too mature for Glee's audience, and the newbies back at McKinley High were little more than carbon copies of the originals. On top of all that, the show lost part of its soul after the real-life death of star Corey Monteith 
which may have explained why there was such a sharp ratings decrease in the episodes that followed the beautiful tribute to the young actor. Number 1. The Walking Dead Though The Walking Dead premiered to a solid 5 million viewers, those figures significantly increased with each passing season as the show's popularity skyrocketed. By season 3, it had increased to 12 million, by season 4, it had gone up to 16 million, and by season 5, it was bringing in 17 million viewers a week. Now, however, the show is in its 10th season, and it's watched by a grand total of 3 million people lower than its respectable premiere figures. In any other case, The Walking Dead's ratings decline would have been totally normal across a decade of viewing. But given that it steadily increased each season until the sixth, the loss is clearly down to a lot more than that. While Andrew Lincoln's departure was the final nail in the coffin of The Walking Dead's juggernaut era, the fact is that people stopped seeing The Walking Dead simply because The Walking Dead stopped being must-see. Sorry to break it to you, but that's just how it is. And that's our list. Know of any other TV shows that lost millions of viewers that we missed? Let us know all about them in the comment section below, and do not forget to like, share, and click on that subscribe button. I've been Gareth from WhatCulture.com, thank you very much for watching, and I'm sure I'll see you very, very soon.